I had to, um, when I was in my first year at school, I threw all the toy cars. At your pram? <laughs> all the, the, the ones provided for the class, I threw them all over a bush. Uh, and the teacher made me replace them with my own toy cars from <laughs> from my collection. Why did you do that? I think that still haunts me that I did that. I just brought them in. I didn't tell my mum and dad that I, let, I took my toys in. Yeah, well, why did you throw them in a the bush in the first place? <laughs> I just thought, I thought we could collect them. I don't know. I just launched them over and <laughs> for a laugh and that. And next thing, she's like, you need to bring in your own toys. Isn't kids funny? The crazy things kids do. I once uh, threw a rock for a man's window while he was driving his car into the car park. <laughs> I don't remember doing it. I just remember. I just. I remember that. Just remember it happening. And then the man came up to my mum and dad's door with me, saying, um, "He's just throwing a brick." I was playing in the <laughs> dirt down there. Basically, our house was like a. It was like a driveway down into a car park near where I live. Yeah. And I was just playing with the stones. I used to love playing with stones in the dirt. I could play with stones in the dirt for hours. <laughs> peasant, and a spider. A peasant child. Not a spider. An ant. I can make friends with an ant. Oh yeah, I used to do that with um, woodlouse. Are my favourite. Wood woodlouse. Like, <laughs> you know, woodlouse. Really? Those little grey ones. I used to collect them in like a really like a pickled onion jar and just watch them. Oh, just watch them till they die. <laughs> That's it. I get like boiling water. I like talk to them. Didn't it? <laughs> strange things kids do. I, I remember like once killing an ant, but then putting it on my palm, of my hand, and wishing it back to life, and it came back to life. <laughs> and I mean, but you hadn't killed it then. Well, I, well, <laughs> well, you say that, but I, I for years, I, I, I even now I suspect. I have I got a healing power? <laughs> So let's try it later. I'll go and bash an old lady. Yeah, she's just going to smash all over her head and I'll put her head in my hand. And we go, Give you some feedback no. in the next show. Doesn't work. Things have been locked up. I wonder if we have for small beings. Small. Anyway. Yeah, I know. It's one day. I'm, I'm playing with the dirt and the stones and, and a car paint drives past. I pick a rock up and throw it through his windscreen. <laughs> what was your thought process there? <laughs> throw a rock through windscreen. It'd be funny. Did you hear just a noise in the house? No. People get scared in the house at night. Like, ever. Like, no one... I've been, in the, I've been I fear doors... nothing. Huh? I fear nothing. <laughs> I remember once, uh, a friend of mine was so scared once that he put a quilt over his head. And um, basically what happened is he was, he, was, he was laying asleep in his house, in his bed sit. And uh, suddenly there was a big bang at the window. Bang, 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 bang. He's lived on the ground floor. There's a lady at the he's pulled back the curtain and there, and there's a lady with like black hair. She's banging on the window, going bang, 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 bang on the window. He shit himself so much he thought it was a ghost. He's put a quilt over his head. He's under the quilt and he's bored out a little breathing hole. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to when I was at university? My mate, he's at our, our university house. My friend slept on the ground floor, uh, and we used to leave the door on the latch because we had friends that lived um, just around the corner. It. And he'd come back. I uh, went in his room. All his stuff from under his bed had been pushed out. And there was a hand poking out from underneath his bed. <laughs> he thought it was me, and he stamped on the hand, and a tramp rolled out from under his no bed. No way. And he shat himself. But and he we, did. we were upstairs the whole time playing the PlayStation, and we can hear him shouting, it's a guy in my room, it's a guy in my room. You know, we, ignored, we ignored him, as you would. Uh, and he kept screaming at me, like, what the fuck is he talking about? And went downstairs. There's a guy in his room. <laughs> what did a guy want? I think he was just drunk and he'd taken his shoes off. He's like bare feet and he just stunk. He's like, he's like, is this Steve's house? Is this Steve's <laughs> house? I'm like, even if it was, would you be just sleeping <laughs> in his bed? Fucking hell. I said the funniest thing would have been, you know, if you hadn't realised and you'd just gone to bed and then like at midnight. Oh, just, no, that would have been right, terrible. He rises no. up. You'd have a oh, 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 God. I'd have, I'd have screamed. <laughs> I'd still be screaming. Oh, he did. 20 he... years on, I'd still be going, <laughs> He slept upstairs. It freaked him out so much, he had to sleep upstairs. Jesus Christ, man. Imagine that. Imagine that in bed. That's, that's, like, that's like the old <laughs> horror movie thing. You wait for a spear to come from the bed. I would have shit myself. I just imagine just a guy just rolls out from under your bed. Uh, instantly, <laughs> I'd, 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 instantly, I'd have had the machine gun punch me in the face or just d- dive head first through the window. Anything. It's fight or flight, isn't it? In, in, in the fight situation, you're just going to panic and just start trying to kill the person because you're obviously going to kill you. Or just dive head first through the window and hope to die quickly. What I see once, we, was, we, was in a, we used to have a studio in Greenwich with a band practice. And so we we built this like second tier thing where we could look down and watch ourselves. Well, we couldn't sit sit up there and watch down. And watch. People would sit up there and smoke joints now while we'd be band practicing. And there was a curtain at the back of the room, 
and we're all up, we're all up there playing um, computer games and shit. And we're looking down, and there's a pair of trainers like by the curtain. And I thought someone said, "Whose trainers are they then?" And I went, "They're not mine." And no one knew whose trainers they were. And suddenly, <laughs> what we like, my mate, a bit, sh- bit sharp. He's, he's jumped down straight away. He hasn't gone down the little. The ladders get down. He's jumped straight down, gone over to the curtain, pulled it back. There's a bloke there. <laughs> <laughs> a bloke standing. This, a, this geezer was trying to rob us. He hadn't seen us up there because you, when you walk in, when you walk in the show, you walk underneath the tier thing that we built. Yeah. And then he's looking at the guitars. But he's obviously look. He's obviously got to the back of the <laughs> studio, looked up and seen a load of blokes, <laughs> us lot, playing our computer game, stoned. Yeah. And he's just hid behind the curtain. All right. And he was trainers. Anyway, when we got we, we got down, we confronted him, and uh, we realised he was just he was just trying to rob us. He was just trying to rob the game. He was going to see John. There ain't no, it was actually John, the drummer, but he didn't know that. Anyway, so we, 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 <laughs> we, we've kicked him out. He was a thief. He was a thief. A, a little while later, I stuck a bike outside my studio for literally the time it took me to hoover up behind the door. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about two foot of space. Yeah. Two, two, two mountain bikes we took out. I opened the door up after about no longer than 30 seconds. Both bikes are gone. 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 It's a pro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely gone. I remember Richard Madeley. He was on uh, the One Show, and he casually said, "He said before his son goes to work, he kisses his dad on the lips before he goes to work." And he just said that as a, like, a casual comment, as if that was just complete. Imagine like, kissing your dad on the lips before you leave the house. <laughs> 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 it's my only time I got a, a face. <laughs> Of disgust. <laughs> it's the way he said it, as if that was just complete normal. No, it's normal, yeah, in your weird house, <laughs> Madeley, you fucking strange, <laughs> incestual, <laughs> cruel, cretin. He's like, my son, kiss him on the lips, then he goes, what? Oh, it's normal, is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to picture what I said to my dad. I said, Dad, pucker up. So I bend him over my knee. That's like... Has his son got a gun to his head? I don't know. That's what I said. So imagine his son's watching at home on TV. He's like, what the fuck? Dad, what are you talking about? But what's his son? (laughs) How old's his son? His son's a bit older. Uh, I think, yeah. Certainly, yeah. In his 20s, then. Nah, mate. you got to listen. Pair of you. (laughs) Curious. I'm just picturing. Imagine. (laughs) Two men. A boy that's that ain't right. That is wrong. When I see Madeley, you wait. I'm going to say to him, Madeley, sort your life out. I mean, my dad's got a big beard. He's a bit really... He probably just doesn't want to kiss, kiss her anymore, does he, Judy? Yes, yeah. He's turned on his children. <laughs> That's what it comes. <laughs> See you later, Dad. Mm.